Hello world, welcome back to the Razer RC and I got a chance to run my Low C8 RTR Nitro a scale buggy at a local BMX park, pretty much the, my favorite nitro bashing spot. And I uh, just want to share my thoughts as well as some running footage, so stay tuned to the end uh, for some running video. But yeah, I got a chance to run this. Uh, initial thoughts on the buggy. First off, it drives well. Um, seems like a pretty composed vehicle. Does seem like a race buggy. Uh, and so yeah, the steering stuff, the handling, I mean in the discs, uh, a little light, but not too bad. They feel like they got a little bit of oil in them at least. Um, steering wise, there's something wrong with you, the servo saver or something, because yeah, my trim kept going off a little bit. Um, I noticed that when I was breaking in the engine that uh, I'd have to keep retrimming it. And I did tighten down the servo saver, but that didn't really seem to help. So I'm not really sure if it's the servo or what, or just too much slop in the front end. But yeah, the, <laughs> the trim keeps going off uh, left and right and kind of had to keep adjusting it. Um, Tires actually work pretty well. They're kind of a bashing race style tire, you know, kind of a mini pin thing, but not a full on race tire. Kind of like a, looks like a Duratrax X-Cons or something like that. But yeah, it worked totally fine at a, you know, sort of a larger uh, loose dirt type surface. Power was um, okay. I'd say my Kyosho probably a little bit quicker, or at least a little more top end, a little more RPMs. Uh, this seems, this is definitely faster than my HPI Racing Trophy three and a half. Um, you know, maybe it's just something about the way I broke in the Trophy three and a half, but this definitely has uh, more power, more top and just more power overall, a wider range of power as well, but not as top, much top end as the Kyosho in my opinion. So, uh, you know, the motor is okay, but you know, probably not the best uh, RTR motor out there. I did run into some issues. First off, you can see that the cooling head is completely uh, destroyed. You know, I lost half the top fin and then second fin is already kind of cracking here and bent. Uh, so I will probably need to replace that. It does stick out like super high. I mean, pretty much flush with the wing. So I need to get another head. If, if anyone knows if I can just replace, you know, this with any other cooling head, let me know. I don't really know if they're all compatible or you just got to buy the matching brand or what, but let me know in, a, in the comments below. I do need to pick up another head. So that is one thing that, you know, pretty much broke. Uh, it was still cooling okay, so I didn't see temps over like 190, 200 degrees. So I don't think that's a problem. I'm only running 20% nitro, so I don't think it's a big deal. I might even want to cut off like the top two fans. It's just a really tall cooling head in my opinion. So it does take some damage. And then the other issue I was running into was that the uh, exhaust coupler down here, uh, I don't think they put the zip, ton, zip tie on correctly, so it kept slipping off. And I would put it back on and then, you know, be able to run until the first, you know, harsh landing or whatever, and then it would fall off again. So that was kind of annoying. I will need to fix that, readjust this little coupler, uh, maybe even get the tune pipe. I don't know. That might be an option. I don't think it's that expensive. So uh, I'll look into that as well. But yeah, I'll share some running footage uh, now. Um, you know, only got to run about a tank, tank and a half through the buggy before this coupler thing was just annoying me too much. And I just end up uh, stopped been running uh, but yeah let me know what you think um, I will obviously be running this some more and uh, eventually doing a review as well as probably a comparison video uh, with the Inferno Neo 3.0 from Kyosho and the HPI Trophy 3.5 so anyways uh, stay tuned don't forget to hit the like share subscribe buttons we do have some links in the description below where you want if you want to pick this up or pretty much anything else click on that link and anything you buy over there it does help support the channel it does not cost you anything um, but yeah if, if you want to support the channel that's the best way to do it. Um, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe buttons. Look for more videos soon. Take care. Seems to be idling well.
Unfortunately, the uh, the mid coupler uh, rubber, what we call it, the rubber coupler keeps popping off because the zip tie was installed correctly. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to 
think we're just going to end it there. We got the cracked head there, the cracked cooling head, uh, some fins there. I guess we'll run it for a little bit like that. Um, checking temps real quick. Let's make sure see what that's at. 183, 170. So it seems okay cooling wise. Um, even missing a, a fin or two there uh, seems okay. But anyways, uh, yeah, that's the first run of the Low C8 RTR. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe buttons. Look for more videos soon. Thanks for watching. It looks like we also got a spring cup to fill off there. Any other damage? Uh, it doesn't really look like it. Looks okay otherwise. So yeah, thanks for watching. Take care now.